And welcome back, folks. Um, <laughs> kind of an interesting situation here. If you are an LPer or you have plans of LPing, one of the most important things I can recommend to you is having two monitors. Why two monitors? Is Why is that important? Well, I actually just recorded this video, and to my surprise, um, Fraps crashed in the middle of me recording it, so the video, you know, went killed. Uh, I never got a warning or, a, or anything like that, Fraps had just crashed. So what kind of sucked in that is that had I not had dual monitors, uh, there's no way I would have just kept recording for a while. So I did load back. Um, I've actually already solved where the angel head is. Uh, it didn't take me too long actually. My strategy was I went back to the beginning and I wanted to click on everything. Uh, this isn't a huge area and I figured that it, it wouldn't be that bad. My initial thought was that the answer was going to be somewhere over where the screaming people were. Uh, but that was more or less just because I thought the skull was going to be transformed human into skull. the angel head, you know, in perfect sanitarium fashion. This is not the case. Um, so, you know, I, I went up here, the birdhouse, there's actually another eye here. What is that? It looks like a giant... I. Um, and then I wanted to click around in this area. A tombstone. Your name here. So that they actually don't even give you a hint as to where this is going to come from. But the, and this then this is the goddamn cat. Travis W. Nice goddamn cat. And then the this stone is. reads Jetta Driscoll. And there's that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean. You didn't really get to see my thought process of the beating this. Crypt. It came up out of the ground. I mean, I, I guess I could just like lie to you and say, "Oh, look, I'm going to explore and do the same thing," but really, that, that's that's not heavy. really my interest. Um, so that that's what happened. Statue. Um, the and then, oops, a grim. A portal gets opened up here, and this is where I just kind of casually glanced over to my other monitor and saw that it uh, had stopped recording. So, so you basically, the folder that you're recording into, I highly, highly recommend keeping that up. Just so that you can see on the second monitor if it's recording, if things, you know, obviously you can't see if it's recording right or if something corrupts, you know, you'll never know. <laughs> But at least, if Fraps crashes, that's one more safeguard. So? The statue is reassembled, and a portal has opened. The real world must be close, I can feel it. I'd better move quickly. Save game. Alright. Return to game. A grim wall is easily the fastest. Portal to the real world! Go! to get through those columns. The real world lies beyond. This thing won't let me pass. What am I supposed to do? Seek the truth. Um. Morgan, I'll get past this demon of yours somehow. You can't hold me here. Let's save here. Save game. 
perfect. Actually, perfect. Uh, Turn to game. A glass statue of Olmec. He's holding an orb. Glass statue of Olmec. He's holding an orb. I'm still kind of confused. Black sludge on the floor. The same stuff that shadow creature is made out of. I better not step in it. Well, it's not really an option here now, is it? Damn. I <laughs> Not exactly sure what they want me to do here. That's my arm. Alright, I, I mean, I... A glass statue of Sarah. Holding an orb of some kind. I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of confused as to exactly, like, what do you do to get around this? I have no items. Uh, the answer is over this way. You oh. are truly a great warrior. All right, so now I have to figure out how to get to that one. Last statue of Grimwall. He's got something in his hands. Oh, so now it, it restarts. Okay. So about a lot of this is just memorizing what the sludge is going to do. I have no idea what the sludge... Okay, so the sludge, I have to go over to the left. So I gotta get onto this one. You have the strength. No more games, Morgan. Did I win? You are my hero. I love you. I love you too. Gone. You failed, Morgan. I'm gonna live. Enough games, Max. This ends here now. Do you know that the poison will soon condemn you to darkness forever? Lost to your doomed world. Lost to your wife. Lost to your unborn child. Hey, let go. Anyone else high as hell right now? It's like Chrono Trigger all over again. It's over. I'm back. It's over.
Mercy Drug Corporation, Dr. Jacob Morgan, has resigned. This surprising development comes just a few short months after the corporation made its cure for the DNAV virus available to the public. Dr. Morgan's successor, Max Lawton, the man who discovered the DNAV cure, had no comment. The trial of Dr. Jacob Morgan, former head of the Mercy Drug Corporation, begins this morning. Federal authorities claim Dr. Morgan hindered the drug's development in an attempt to increase company profits. He may even have gone so far as to sabotage a researcher's car, an act which nearly prevented a true cure from ever being found. Prosecutors are confident that Morgan will be found guilty and sentenced to life in prison. Threshold. So Your feet slippers? You need them to go on the rides, of course. Must I pass through the bowels of the monster? This is a confusing mess. What? I wish I knew, man. Why? That stuff is for the bird. What? Who are you? <laughs> Why? Well, Techno Remix. Why? Um. So is it all in his head? Um. I think it was. I think he was in the hospital bed the entire time. Uh, I mean, we originally... It, it's funny how the game kind of screwed with you like that. Or was he in an asylum? <laughs> no, because there's no way he would have been able to be moved from that. Wish I could. Where is that awful music coming from? I like this music. It's got a great beat. An awesome game, though, folks. Um... A good difficulty for a point-and-click. Uh, you know, generally, a lot of point-and-click games can tend to draw people away only because of what's called the unwinnable situation, which to me is the worst thing to ever happen in a point-and-click game. Sierra was famous for doing that. Um, they let you try and advance in the game, but it is an unwinnable situation, so you can spend hours trying to figure out a puzzle that you can't possibly solve. Uh, giving you an analogy, imagine playing a first-person shooter, and on level 4, you were supposed to find some gun. And on level 5, you have to fight this boss. Well, you don't find the gun, you still progress to level 5, you still go through all of level 5, and you come to this boss, and you can't possibly kill him. But you spend hours trying to figure out his weak spot, or trying to figure out where to get him, but you can't because you don't have the right gun, and there's really no way that, you know, it, it just... It can be frustrating in that. So Sierra was famous for doing that. Um, that really started to go away from point-and-click games as people realized this is absolute garbage. Uh, it, it's just, it, it completely ruins the game. You know, it almost forces you to use a strategy guide, which a lot of people don't like to do when playing point-and-clicks. But uh, regardless for this one, this was a lot of fun. A lot of creepiness, a lot of nightmare fuel. Um, but was ultimately, I, I think, a very, very successful, well-made game. The uh, story was interesting. The story kept you fairly well gripped as you tried to figure out who you were and what this whole situation was. Were you really insane or were you, you know... And there's also just enough... Uh, confusion in it all. I mean, I guess the cure that he figured out was an Aztec, an ancient Aztec cure? Maybe? Was he an arch... I, I, I don't really know. Uh, that's what it kind of seemed like to me, though, as he was reliving some of these memories. Um, but, as I said, an ultimately very, very well-made game. Uh, voice acting was pretty quality. I, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, trying to just think back on some of the... A lot of what they did in the game I thought was was really, really nice. Um, they gave you hints that weren't super obvious. Like, the, the perfect one for me in, in the very beginning of the game was the pig spring. Uh, you know, I think it was something, this old spring, you know, pig with an old spring. And then he's made some comment about the a little river that went through and they purposely used the word spring. It was something like that. I don't remember it exactly. But uh, that was, you know, that was a really, really well-made hint, especially early in the game. But uh, anyway, folks, I guess we are done Sanitarium, and we are moving on to wherever the games take us. As always, thanks for watching, folks. Tune in the next LPs. Thank you for watching, everybody.